Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm joined by a very special guest on the training pitch, Noah Kavanagh. Nice to have you on the channel, mate. Thanks. Nice. So Noah is a professional footballer, but not only that, he runs his own YouTube channel. We're gonna get a training session in today. Noah is in between contracts at the minute, so he's sharpening up, getting ready for that next opportunity. He is a fullback, so a lot of these drills are gonna be tailored specifically for fullbacks, working on those specific movements that you'll encounter during a match. So it should be really good today. A lot of technical work. Looking forward to it. Fantastic. Yeah, let's get into it. So I'll be doing a few voiceovers in today's video just because the wind was really strong on the day. So unfortunately, some of my explanations weren't picked up on the microphone. But just before we get into the session, I want to say a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my website, 7mlctraining.com. And from websites to analytics to marketing tools, they're the all-in-one place to grow your online presence and manage your business. But after the dynamic warm up, we went into some basic technical touches. These are greater to do at the start of the session, but there's no drills with this, there's no thinking needed. You're just getting some clean connections on the ball. So these are great to do at the beginning, so that when you go into those drills that require a bit of decision making, a little bit more thinking, you're already sharper. So you don't have to think of the technical aspect of it. You can just challenge yourself even more. So we did some one touch on the ground, two touch, and then a bit of two touch and one touch in the air as well it's good to get the ball on the ground and also in the air to work on a variety of touches with both feet then after about five minutes or so of technical touches we went into some fast footwork so as you guys know at the start of all of my sessions i've been doing a lot of fast feet exercises these are great to switch on physically and mentally so we always start with a few basic ones just to get the warm-up in switch on those fast twitch fibers and then we go into some more advanced ones because that challenges our coordination it strengthens the connection between the mind and the feet so really important it helps you coordinate your footwork it's going to improve your overall performance and you will see the benefits on the pitch so we're just doing a little bit of follow the leader so i'm starting so whatever i do through the ladders noah has to copy what i'm doing and then we're just doing a small acceleration at the end of the ladder to the cones which are about 10 yards away or so so just going through three basic ones followed by three slightly more challenging ones again to switch on physically and mentally so these are the ones I came up with you might have seen them on the channel before and then it was Noah's turn to lead and this is why I really enjoy training with other players because you always learn something new there's something to take away that you can apply to your own sessions and Noah showed me some brand new fast feet exercises that I hadn't seen before the three more advanced ones were really challenging and I'd not seen these done before so I went through them slowly like I always suggest to you guys anytime you're trying a new fast feet exercise go through slowly at first so you get the coordination and the pattern and down and then increase the speed once you gain confidence with it especially this one here this was excellent working backwards especially for you wing backs out there you're gonna be jockeying up against wingers from time to time so you need to be light on your feet and be comfortable going backwards so jockeying switching your hips these are important attributes for defenders so that's a great exercise and then this final one is an excellent one to develop your coordination as you can see looks very complicated at first it's a few different movements combined in one exercise took me a minute to get the pattern down and i really had to slow it down so once again if you're trying these out for yourself go through it really slowly just step in like this at first get that pattern down understand it and then once you gain confidence with it you can increase the speed slightly but again you want to have control over your footwork it's much more important that you're going through not touching the ladder making sure your footwork is accurate and precise with each step and then increase that speed. That connection between the mind and the feet will get stronger and stronger the more you practice. I really enjoyed learning some new ones today and I'll definitely be incorporating them into some future individual sessions too. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. So there, okay, I got That's it. Yeah.
Now you die. Yep, yep. Oh. Yes, yeah. That's one. Yep. Yep, yep. Yeah. And again. Yep, yep. 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 And again. Yep. Lovely. Come. Yeah, boy. Keep going. Yep. Yeah. Touch. Yeah. Oh, I'll pull you out. Yeah. One. Two. Yeah. One. Two. Yeah. Great touch. touch. One. Yep. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yep. Yeah. Couple more. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Last one. Yep. Yeah, and hold. Solid. Crispy, my man. Just a little bit of awareness. Because we're bouncing, just keeping aware which colours are which side. Yeah. So orange. You'll say green or orange. There you go. Point to the side we go to. Nice touch. Yes. Ooh. Good. Good turn. Yes. Good feet. Nice. Good turn. Boom. any moment in between reps you can swap the colors and I have to react to it so you could raise this way and it's green right so I've got to go this way so you really have to focus you're not just working on your peripheral you actually have to make eye contact okay here we go here we go Forty. nice good Yes, oh, I raised it so early for you. <laughs> oh, I bounced I it in between I had us. time to really consider life there. I had to think about that one. Damn. <laughs> yes, what a turn. Great reaction. That's the reaction. Yes, oh yes. <laughs> that was good. That was like, that, is that was like, should... whoop. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Just gonna keep swapping. So I don't even know what I'm raising. 
Well done. Ooh. Go on then. Good feet. Good. Well done. Here we go. Good work. This time, when you say a colour, you're actually keeping the ball, and I'm checking into this. So when you say a colour, so it's a green. quick bounce, so you say green. I'm checking into space. I really want you to fizz that ball in. So we're taking this touch in our stride. Got it. Kind of like what we we're talking about earlier as a wide player. You can get that ball on the move all in one stride while you're in full pace. Yeah. It just saves precious seconds. That can be the difference between getting beyond their full back when you're crush. As I bounce it, it's like boom. And then you know what I mean? So it's kind of like leaving your defender that one, two. Okay. So as the ball's on its way to me. Green. Yep. That's it. Good touch. Yeah. Yeah, I could have 
So after about 30 minutes of going through those different drills, working on some decision making, directional touch, a little bit of awareness as well, we then went into our match realistic drill. So really trying to incorporate different elements of the game here. So we're working on taking the ball in our stride as a wide player and then making a decision. So as I fizz the ball out to Noah on the wing, he then has to listen to my command and if I say one, he has to cross the ball early, I'm continuing my run. And if I say two, he has to take a big touch out of his feet and then get to the goal line and cut it back along the ground. So just listening for that call, making the decision and then trying to be aggressive and deliberate with the next action. So we went through a few repetitions each out on the left side and then we went over and did the exact same thing on the right. Get him off. Yeah, exactly. One. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Two. Good touch. Yes. Good call, mate. Right. The shape's there. Yeah, yeah. These boots, I forget how sticky these hypervenoms are. Oh, it's nice. That's right. up and down. Third one's a charm. I'm trying to get that Ronaldo thing we talked about earlier. Yeah. That whip and bend. The Di Maria. Oh yeah. Him in training for the road. Oh that's nice. So it's consistent. Almost so, yeah.
Another thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is where I built my website, 7mlctraining.com, and has become the central hub of my brand and allows me to put everything 7mlc training related in one place, from links to all of my platforms, my training programs, my mentorship program, and even my blog posts. So if you've ever considered building your own website and you don't know where to begin, I'd fully recommend checking out Squarespace. They make it very easy to build a professional looking website without needing to know anything about coding or web design. And if you use the link in my description, www.squarespace.com 7MLC, you can get 10% off your first website. All right, so that's the session complete. Noah, what did you think of it? Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Good, uh, really good to get game realistic stuff, I think. For the most part, like that's the most important thing for young footballers to understand is simple, all game realistic, especially that uh, bounce touch out to the side. Like those types of drills are golden because once yeah. you get into the game, it's that's what you're doing. Really enjoyed it. But as I said, guys, make sure you go and check out Noah's channel as well. I'm going to link it in the description box below. He vlogs his life as a professional, does a lot of great boot reviews as well, gets retro boots in. I've seen some of the ones brought with him. Hey, you guys saw the Hyper Venom, so he does retro boots, does the latest boots. So make sure you go and head over there and check out all his content. And we'll be doing another video or two yeah. together this week because Noah's out for a few days till we get some more sessions in as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it valuable. Take away those drills, especially if you're a wide player, a fullback, it's gonna be really helpful for you. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit that subscribe button for weekly training videos. We'll see you guys in the next video.